should the Detroit Lions be looking at Odell Beckham Jr.? Apparently, the name is a hot name, but the market is <laughs> not a hot market for Odell Beckham Jr. I know you released a, a workout video of him looking pretty explosive. Um, but uh, let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notification, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop a video. So, um, I'm a, I'm a hard no on this one. Uh, you know, Odell want to be more of a star. You know, he want to be more of a star than a football player. And that catch blew his mind up. Um, and he, he want to be a star. He want to do is that, you know, roll rappers and shit. And what's so funny is athletes want to be actors and entertainers and musicians and shit and rappers. And uh, musicians, actors, and, you know, rappers want to be ball players. You know? And I always looked at him as one to be more of a celebrity than a football player after that catch. And I always looked at him as more shine than actually being a flawless diamond. You know? And he might come back with something to prove. But I don't really think he fit the culture of what the Lions want, for one. And then I don't I don't you don't know how much he got left in the tank. Two ACL surgeries. Um you know, don't make sense. And then he looking for, you know, a, a lot of money because of who he is. It's kind of like these kids looking for a lot of money, you know, or, or yeah, these kids looking to buy uh, material things because it costs a lot of money and not the quality of, you know, you don't know what you're really going to do. He going to have to be on the prove it deal. You know, there's too many options in the draft. There's still some options out there in free agency. He might be the biggest name, but is he the best player right now? And that's the enigma. You just don't know. You know, you just don't know. So, um, but, uh, but, yeah, it's a no to me. And everybody liked the name. And, you know, look what he did in the Super Bowl. And, this workout video look like he back, but can you take hits? Is the question. And if you, I don't think he would want to be here. That's the crazy thing about it. You know, a lot of people want him, but he want to be somewhere like LA. He want to be somewhere like Dallas. He want to be somewhere like New York. And that's why Aaron Rodgers' name dropped him with the Jets. He didn't want to leave New York. He didn't want to leave New York. Let's call a spade a spade. He didn't want to leave. You know? He left. He left because he took a low blow at Eli Manning on an interview. Uh, I think it was on ESPN with Lil Wayne. And he took a low blow at... Uh, at Eli, and that's when they got his ass up out of there. So he thought he was bigger than, you know, Eli Mann in New York, somebody who brought two Super Bowl wings, and, and he being somebody who I don't think even won a playoff game to that point. He was part of the boat gate shit in, in New York, where Eli was throwing darts, and um, and they and they was dropping him, especially him. So. His whole mystique is overrated as hell, to be honest. He's an overrated player. Real talk, he's a very overrated player. You know, he had a catch. He's been living off that catch. He ain't, you know, he ain't a, a close to being a Hall of Famer. He closer to being a Hall of Shamer. You know, and being in New York, and I think that being on a primetime game, we caught that ball. And obviously, what he asked for, he ain't humbled himself yet. So you got somebody coming in who ain't humble, who you know, who probably still feel like they should be where they was when they left off. You know what I'm saying? And um, like I said before, you know, people said well, Cleveland he was misused by Baker Mayfield, and 
you know, him and Stafford didn't get a whole year to get, but outside of a, a short run in New York that he had a good time, he's trash. People say, well, he didn't, that never really had a good quarterback for extended points. Like, hey, it is what it is. But he always comes off as a diva to me. Like I said, I don't know him personally, but he always comes off as a diva to me. You know, and then, you know like I said, it'd be nice for him to play in the dome and all that, you know. But he at the point where he got his preferences. He could pick almost where he want to go if the team on him. And he probably more than likely, if he's going to be outside, it's going to be, you know, L.A. or New York. I mean, excuse me. Yeah, L.A. Well, L.A. got a dome. New York. He don't want to go to Kansas City. That's what be killing me, dude. These dudes be, they so caught up. And, and I can understand the NBA a little bit more. But they be so caught up in, in, in living. Like, in the NFL, you there for what? I say what? Uh, what you got? You know, maybe you could be flying in for, for many camps. But you're there for like what? August, September, October, November, December, and maybe January. The other six months is yours, if not more. To do what you want to do. And, you know, they get caught up in living here and living there. And, you know, obviously you can live where the hell you want to live at. You know, and I understand from a marketing standpoint of view and, and getting commercials and shit, you know, New York is, is, is the hub. You know, but these, these players are so spoiled, dude. They just look at Zion Williams. He just didn't want to be in New Orleans. And guess what? When you give, when you give that energy that you don't want to be somewhere, look how the universe will turn the energy injured and injured. So now when they made the playoffs and he wanted to come back last year, you know what I'm saying? Now he want to get out there and play. Now he, you know, he want to be a full participant. That they start doing something last year and winning. Now he can't get out there and play. And you gotta watch, you know, the words that you speak and the energy that you that you let off today. And sometimes I, you know, I be thinking and saying, put shit in the universe that I probably shouldn't. But it's the, the word, you know, the words are powerful. Just not from hurting people's feelings and. You know, just from, from, you know, the words that you speak, you know, you know, it could come true like that. So, but, yeah, they so caught up in, you know, oh, I want to live here and I want to do this. And, hey, the best, the best, you know, option for him is to go get with Patrick Mahomes. Let's be real. To go get with somebody like that, a Joe Burrow, a Patrick Mahomes, a Josh Allen, you know what I'm saying? And 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 he may be with Aaron Rodgers out there in New York. That's his best chance. Get out there with them. Get your numbers up real quick. You know. You know, get your numbers up real quick. And um And get your numbers up real quick, and, and that that'd be what it be. And then you can go on the market and get what you wanted to get and do what you want to do. That's what Juju Smith-Schuster did with Patrick Mahomes. Got his money and left Kansas City. And really is not going to thrive over there in New England either. Unless Mac Jones can throw him open. That's the honest truth. Patrick Mahomes make Juju look way better than what he was last year. Juju can't get no separation, dude. I ain't know Cuz was that slow. I didn't know that. driving his fucking charger and his motherfucking ball joint about to fall off his whole motherfucking wheel and don't even know it. <laughs> I just hate driving in Detroit, bro. But be honest, down south is worse. But let me know what you girls and guys think. Check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance to get notifications. We go live with our video. Check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist. More videos like this. Peace.